They say he's back. Yeah, they say he's back. Oh yeah, they say he's back. Yeah, yeah, it, it's only been a couple of weeks. What's up guys, it's your boy, Rob Lee. Back here with yet another video. Different type of video, but get used to these type of videos. And you know what? I thought, okay, maybe I'll try something different. I'm actually gonna record on my mic, which I need to probably start doing anyway for these videos. Um, let's just see how it goes. So I've gotten a lot of new subscribers lately. Um, probably from different videos, either my video telling you how to get subs on YouTube and things like that. Core theme of my channel is basically surrounded around my music. And um, if you guys didn't notice, I do music. Basically, I'm a hip hop artist. Um, I guess you can kind of say that I, I do a little bit of almost every genre in a kind of way, but mostly hip hop. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys, um, and this is uh, basically for if it's any artist that subscribe to me or any artist is going to see this video you guys look on the screen right now you can see that my growth for spotify has definitely started to go up a lot basically in the last two songs that i released i figured out some marketing strategies that have gotten me almost over seventy-five thousand streams between the two songs one song is probably going to hit a hundred thousand in no time the other one hit twenty-five thousand in the first three weeks I have 24,000 monthly listeners and I have over 300, almost 400 followers now. Whereas two months ago, I didn't have but only 29 Spotify followers. In this video, I'm gonna tell you guys how you should market your music, how to upload your music, how to market your music and where you should market your music. Basically the strategy that I use to get to where I'm at. First, before we begin, make sure you smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you can get all my videos. Cause like I said, this is gonna be the first of a long series. In this video, we're just gonna go through basically what you need to do and then eventually in the future i'm going to go in depth on just about every single thing that i talk about in this video um in future videos so you definitely don't want to miss that you guys don't know this and and for the people that already know just be patient this is for a video that i'm hoping that it attacks all kinds of people because basically lately i've been figuring out that a lot of people don't know how to distribute their music so the first thing first is getting your music distributed and what it means to get your music distributed is to get your music on all the platforms that you'll be able to get streaming revenue from such as spotify apple music title etc google play amazon music all those sites you want to get your music on those sites this is what you need to do so a distributor there's plenty of distributors that you can um choose from TuneCore, the cd baby united masters which i believe is somewhat of a new one and then there's distro kit now it does cost money to you know to distribute through these distributors cd baby and TuneCore, i believe they both charge 30 dollars per song to upload through their distributor and they take a cut so some of these distributors do take a cut i believe TuneCore takes a 20 percent cut of whatever revenue that you make um, United Masters, honestly, I don't know. I haven't actually checked it out. I just know that's one of the places you can go. You can actually just go to the site. I may leave it a link down in the description for that if you guys are interested in that. But the one that I use and the cheapest to use is DistroKid. Now, DistroKid, you pay just $20 once a year and you can upload as many songs as you want and they don't take a cut of your money. So especially as a beginner, it's definitely a no brainer to just go ahead, try distro kid. They also, it, it uploads to the, if you're, if you're in a rush to get your song out it uploads your song in like two or three days, in some cases in some stores, the next day I've seen as, as fast as the next day. In fact, it's uh, not even 12, 13 hours sometimes, but we'll get into when you should schedule your song to be uploaded get to it so bam you got your distributor and um you guys want to sign up for distro kid in the description there is a link to sign up for distro kid like i said um it's twenty dollars to sign up basically unlimited music can't really beat that it's very cheap to start off with distro kid so use my link if you want to sign up for distro kid now you got distro kid you got your song up on spotify apple music title all that good stuff great now it's time to market your music but before you market the music you want to at least know what you're going to get paid per stream for each streaming site. Like I said, there are hundreds of stores that your song is going to get distributed to. Um, but we're going to, in this video, we're going to focus just on the main ones for now. There are so many stores, but we can't get into all of them in this video. And honestly, you're, you're not going to be marketing it to, um, through a lot of these um, other ones anyway. So let's just get into the main ones. Well, we'll start off with Spotify. So Spotify, which is the main one, and which uh, everyone should be promoting their music. Basically, everybody in the world's on Spotify for the most part, technically. Um, Spotify, on average, pays about a third of a cent per stream. So 0 0.003 cent 
per stream is what Spotify pays. Apple on average pays about double that, about 0.005, 0.006 per stream. So you'll get paid double with Apple. Streaming services like Tidal, I believe Tidal, and there's one called Napster. Those two pay the most. They pay upwards of a cent. And I think Napster pays almost around two cents per stream. But like I said, Napster is one of those sites that you're probably not going to use that much. Now, if you figure out a marketing plan that you can get streams on Napster, oh, go for it. You feel like figure out a marketing plan to get your streams on Tidal, go for it. Those pay the most. Of course, you also get your music on Google Play and iTunes where people can actually still buy your songs. Of course, this will make you the most money if you tend to want to market it that way. So now you know how you get paid for at least the mainstream sites. So now it's time to market your music. So what are you going to do first? First, you're going to do just like everybody do. You're going to post your song on social media. You're going to you know, tag your friends, tag your family, tell them, make people know that, hey, you make music. Now, of course, this is like, you know, oh, man, this is not really going to get you many streams. I mean, it can. I mean, if you got, you know, 100 friends on Facebook and even 10 of them stream your song and they like your song and they stream it 10 times, that's, hey, that's at least 100 streams. That's more streams than you got before you watch this video. So why are you complaining about it? But basically what you want to do, and we won't go too in depth, but and let the very least, and like I said, a lot, most people got Spotify. Get your family to the following on Spotify. That will help you in the algorithm. And in future videos, we'll go into why that helps you in the algorithm on Spotify. But for now, get your family to at least follow you on Spotify. That's definitely what you want to do because basically when you release your song, those people will get your song in their mail, which kind of skips a lot of steps for you when it comes to the marketing. Now, let's be about to get into the nitty gritty, the stuff that really works. So first thing we want to do as far as the marketing side other than your social media is now you want to find on spotify they have playlists and this is why spotify is good because you can you can get into playlists on spotify that has a lot of followers and it's almost like the radio online it's all it's almost like playlists is basically like the radio and it's even better because you know there's people who go for on spotify that's you know specific playlists with specific niches of people like people who work out or people who just want to be in a chill mood or you know R&B songs for late night stuff, you know what I'm talking about, and uh, things like that. First, what you want to do is do some playlist research. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to go to the computer, and I'm going to show you just a couple of ways you can do some playlist research. All right, guys, so we're on the computer. So first things first, I'm going to show you guys just briefly how you can do just some quick playlist research. So first, of course, just, you know, type in um, a, anything, name like rap music, something like that. And a bunch of playlists will show up. Um, like for example, this guy, and some people will have some people will have an Instagram, or they'll have their um, their email and things like that, where you can contact them to get on the playlist. So like I said, sometimes people charge, sometimes they don't. Um, so yeah, you just do that. Just on, just go on Spotify. Another way to search uh, to do playlist searching is uh, this is a site called Chart Metric, and with Chart Metric, basically what you do is um, you'll search different artists to find playlists. So you'll search an artist that maybe your music is similar to, and then you can find their playlist on this site. Um, we'll go, I'll go on more in depth into this, uh, try to keep the video as short as I can. Um, then you have two different other options when it comes to playlisting that, that charge, but it gives you good chances of getting on. So basically with these next two sites, you got to pay for either credits or pay for a promotional campaign. And basically you're pitching your songs to curators and stuff like that. So the first one here is Cement Hub. Cement Hub is pretty cheap. Um, you buy credits basically. And with the credits, you can go and submit to blogs, submit to YouTubers, submit to Spotify playlisters, submit to radios, labels, a and R's. You can submit to all these different type of people with your music, um, and they'll either approve or deny. Most of the time they deny, but it's cool. That's just the name of the game. But uh, as you can see, this is uh, my song "City Is Mine." Um, between two campaigns, I was able to get eleven approvals based off with fifty-two you know, submissions. Um, but that's fine. That's actually not that bad, you know, as far as percentage wise. That's about like five, uh, about twenty uh, percent. Yeah, about twenty percent. Um, that's pretty decent, trust me. Um, and they do nitpick. I will warn you. You will get like the most nitpicky people because a lot of these people are artists too. 
So they just they nitpick everything. Everything. But it's cool though. It's still you get your chance to get your music out there. Last but not least, uh playlist push down. Playlist push is gonna be a little more expensive. Um and there's no guarantee that you'll get on a playlist with either of these sites, but um the thing about Playlist Push though, they have some really good curators in their database and basically you pay um, a certain fee, it can be ranged from 150 to thousands of dollars and they'll, depending on how much you pay is how many curators that they'll pitch your song to that's in your genre and um, yeah, I've had a little bit of success, I've actually gotten into some decent playlists off of this and I actually tried this too, like I said, make a different video about it in the future, you'll see it. But uh, Playlist Push is pretty cool. Actually, I have a link in the description if you guys want to try it out. Um, like I said, um, and also if you're a curator, you can actually get paid on both Submit Hub and Playlist Push to um, basically curate people's music. And they'll pay you per either per song that you listen to and things like that. So it's pretty cool too. Now, once you do the playlist and stuff and you do all that marketing, now you can do this next step before you do playlists, after you do playlists. But I'll also tell you that this method isn't the greatest method anymore. This worked you know, well maybe five or ten years ago, but in the age that we are now, um, basically blogs aren't really as big and popping as they were before, but you can still get on blogs to um, promote your music. There's blogs that you can either pay for to get on, which I probably wouldn't recommend as much, but then if you uh, got some time on your hands and consolidate your time right, Go ahead and pitch this on the um the blogs. Now, what you want basically when you first start off, you're you're your own PR person, you're your own mixing engineer, your own master engineer, you're your own recording engineer, you're your own mar marketer, all that stuff. So you're gonna wear a lot of hats when you start off in this music stuff. Get used to hey making some crazy story about your song and submitting it to as much blogs as you think you can. Now I just showed you submit hub, submit hub has blogs on there and if you can um when you submit your song to them and you type in something good in that um box before you submit it um you never know one of them might pick you up as well so that's a pretty easy way because all the blog well a lot of blogs are you know right there for you just a click of a button just to submit to you know hundreds of blogs at a time actually and we're still going i got some more information for you guys next thing you're going to do if your song is on soundcloud which I'm assuming that most of you guys are probably using SoundCloud if you haven't figured out how to distribute your music in the first place. Although you can distribute your music through SoundCloud too. But if you want to get your streams up on SoundCloud, there's a site called Repost Exchange. Now what Repost Exchange do, basically you buy some credits and you can either, you can run so many different campaigns. You either run campaigns to get followers, you can run campaigns to get people to listen to your song. And then if you go in there and listen to other people's songs, you also earn credits to reuse them and go listen to other people's songs and the cycle continues. This is a good way and a very inexpensive way to actually get a good following on SoundCloud. I've tried this here and there. Um, me personally, I don't promote my music on SoundCloud that much anymore. I'm just strictly focused on Spotify, but you know, hey, people are still blowing up on SoundCloud every day. So it's definitely not a bad thing to do, bad choice to make. Now you got into some playlists, you did repost exchange. Now it's time to hit up some influencers. And this is on Instagram and TikTok. Now, disclaimer, and um, I've been doing some trial and error with things. One, here's, when it comes to Instagram influencer with, mu with music, especially hip hop artists, you want to avoid the pages that are only posting hip hop stuff. Unless, you know, of course, if it's like rap TV or uh, say cheese, but I'm talking about those really small ones or the ones that have like a hundred thousand, 200,000 followers that, um, that will post your uh, video up for $40 and stuff. I would stay away from those. I found that those, um, views are either faked or they just run, um, ads for their video, which you can do yourself. And we'll get to that in a second. So, beware of those type of influencers but the influencers i'm talking about is real people with real followers um that will there's there's a lot of people that will just post your stuff or give you a story post for five ten dollars that has like you know fifty thousand a hundred k followers there's some followers uh that i've there's some influencers i've used that got millions of followers that for forty dollars would give you a story post or maybe a hundred dollars post you for 24 hours a 24 hour post on an instagram influencer account for your music can do wonders trust me i th those promotions didn't mean the best when you find you know verified accounts even non-verified accounts and here's a little secret too when it comes to instagram and their engagement um a lot of times the smaller instagrams like the 50k to 100k they have a better engagement rate because 
for some reason, the more followers you get on Instagram nowadays, the less engagement percentage that you get. So don't, you know, don't be too um, proud to go get a promotion from a Instagram account that got 25K, 10K, 5K. Go ahead and do it. They all work wonders, and there's more people with eyes on your music. So on YouTube, of course, there are YouTube channels that will post your song. Um, for a fee, there's some YouTube channels that will do it before their videos, which are that which do very well. Um, there are basically that's what you want. That now there's there's YouTubers and even on Submit Hub, going back to Submit Hub, you can submit to channels and they'll use your song in their video. That can help too. Um, but like I said, especially for hip hop artists, the 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 ones that do the best are the ones where you either get somebody to react to your video. Um, and there's some big YouTubers that you can pay a lot good happy penny to, to get um get somebody to review or react to your song and you can get a lot of files that way but like i said the ones that i've seen work the best are the ones where they post your video give you like a 30 second in, um clip before their video um because that it, the reason why this works better than somebody doing a reaction because a lot of times the reactors will put sponsored or something um right before the video and a lot of people won't click on that video because it's sponsored. It just, it just turns people off. However, if you get somebody that puts even a 30 second or a minute snippet in the beginning of their video, you're going to get a lot more traffic because more people are watching that video. Like I said, we'll get into more details for that in another video. We got to get through this. And then, of course, we got TikTok. Now, with TikTok, there's a diff million different ways you can use TikTok. You can pay for influencers, but from my experience with paying for influencers, and I haven't paid for many, but I don't the thing about TikTok is that okay, some people have a lot of followers, but they still don't get a lot of views on some of their videos. And it's it's a, it's more of a hit and miss. if you're gonna pay for influencer, I say due to due to IG, the YouTube, you know, prior to that. Now this is how you can use TikTok and this is this is how I actually use TikTok. Um, you have the potential for your song to blow up. We have, we, we have the order potential of, you know, you're getting a lot of views on a video. We get that. But even at the bare minimal, at TikTok's going to at least give you for the most part, a hundred views, 80 views, 200 views, 300 views on, on a video that don't pop. That's still new people watching your video every time. So post your video post some type of video don't don't just post you know just your song do incorporate it into a video or a skit or something or um we have make sure you have your hashtags right but at the very least free traffic getting 300 people to watch that video and they listen to your song that and that's free that's even at the bare minimum that's a that's more than what you can do for a lot of these other things that i'm even talking about so just a little thought, but lastly, and this is what's really going to give you the most bang for your buck, literally. And what's really going to spike you in the numbers, especially on Spotify. And that's advertisement. And that's, uh, that's Facebook ads, man. Facebook ads is the way that's for the, for half of my, my streams and stuff have come from Facebook ads. And, the thing about Facebook ads that I've noticed lately is that, um, and which is even better than playlisting, is that the people that I drive to my Spotify tend to um, listen or people that tend to end up on it. Like, so you put an ad in front of people and they're interested. You're going to you're going to filter the people that are really, really interested in the playlist. You know, you're going to have casual people listening and maybe a few might actually go to your page. But as far as. You know, the followers that I've received and the streams and Spotify loves when you drive traffic to Spotify, all that stuff. That's really what's been driving my numbers on Spotify is Facebook ads. Because the people are going to go in there that are hyper interested in your song and they end up even streaming other songs. Like I got streams and people put me on playlists and stuff like that. I've been in more playlists than I've ever been on. And I haven't had to pay that many playlist people because, you know, that's people that will charge you to begin a playlist. Um, I haven't had to pay that much lately. I've been able to, you know, basically, you know, save my money, basically. <laughs>
And when it comes to music videos, and I'll give you guys just a little hint right here, is that make sure your music videos, if you're going to do ads for music videos, don't do Facebook ads to, to, to YouTube. Do Google ads for YouTube videos. Don't do Facebook ads to YouTube. That's all I'm going to say for now because I'm going to have a separate video going in depth on that. Anyway, guys, once again, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Um, if there's anything that I miss, um, let me know. Um, I'll definitely do other parts and even do revamp videos like this and make this even better in the future, especially when I start learning more things. But for now, just want to get a little bit of information out there for you guys. Once again, um, I got the distro kit um, link down there. I also have um, the playlist push link down there that we showed you guys on the computer. Um, if you want to try out playlist push, uh, those are two great ways to first of all the distro kid is great it's getting your songs up and the playlist push does help a little bit so anyway guys peace out see you next time